is our God. Sing with me how great He is our God. Are you worship Jesus? Just worship how great. So for your Lord, the way about how great is our God. True enough, God, just worship Him. How great, how great, how great, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Oh, we sing. Over your family, over your marriage, over your family. How great, how great, how great, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Oh, we sing. stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are wiser than the wisest. You are the faithful God. You are the mercy that covers our nakedness. You are the grace that uplifts even the downcast. You are the grace that enthrones men. Father, we worship you. We crown you king of glory. We crown you king of lords. In the heavens, like you on the earth none like you beneath the earth none like you for you made all things and nothing made you you made all things for yourself heavenly father what an awesome privilege we have to have unrestrained access into your very presence thank you for such a privilege thank you for such an honor to stand not condemned before your presence thank you for the blood of jesus christ that blood has speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. We thank you, precious Holy Spirit, the spirit behind creation, the power and the force behind existence. We bow our hearts in hopeful adoration. We bow our hearts in worship, in thanksgiving. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for what you are set to do in this service. Thank you because somebody's life is about to change. Thank you because the story of families is about to be rewritten. We ask you to have your way, precious Holy Spirit. Come and breathe upon the word like you did in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Come and brood. Come and brood over this service. Come and brood over every mountain and cause it to melt. Come and brood over every darkness. Every darkness in our marriage. Darkness in families, those who are physically here and those who are virtually watching us. Lord, let your spirit brood over every darkness. Let your spirit brood over every emptiness. We rebuke darkness to be dispelled. We rebuke the forces of evil to retreat back. We shut the gates of hell against every family here. We give you praise for you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. Let the strength of God come upon the weak. Let the weak say that I am strong. 
Father, we give you praise. Oh, we sing how good the presence of God is here. How good. This is a praying church. This is a praying church. Your priest is a man of prayer. That's why the presence of God is heavy here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Who is excited to be in his father's house this morning? Oh, come on now, come on. I, I believe you can do better than that. I, I believe you. I believe you can do better than that. Without wasting much of our time because we have such a limited time, but in such limited time, God is going to do a lot. I say God is going to do a lot. There are a couple of things that happens under the presence of God. One of them is divine acceleration. Ahab, if you have read about Ahab and the prophet Elijah, Ahab did not overtake Elijah when he came. Elijah did not overtake Ahab when he came down from the mountain. It was right on the mountain he overtook Ahab. Under the presence of God, for the Bible said that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their yeah. strength. So one of the things that happen in his presence is renewal of strength. That's why another scriptural reference says they go from strength to strength. Each and every one of them that appear before God on Mount Zion. What it means that if you are here, you are sick, you are going to receive strength in your body. Amen. What it means, even the children, everybody that have access into the presence of God has access into divine strength. I don't know which area of your life you are weak. I came here to tell you that the strength of God is available in this service. Amen. After he spent time with God, he came down and overtook a man riding on the fastest means of transportation as it were. By feet, Elijah overtook Ahab. I want to announce to someone in this service, you are going to overtake everything that has stood as a hindrance before you. Amen. Oh, this, uh, is, am I, uh, this is a prophetic service. Am I communicating? It's family service. I want to decree over you all forces of delay. The earth will swallow them up in this service. Amen. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's not because we are strong. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. What shall happen? This mountain shall be moved. Faith can move mountains. The Bible said he that had faith, like a mustard seed, can say to this mountain, be lifted and be cast into the sea. So faith can move mountains. But can I tell you, the presence of God melts mountains. Oh, Faith can uproot mountains. You can carry it, dump it somewhere else. Then tomorrow you start doubting again, you bring back the mountain. But when the presence of God faces a mountain, it melts it. It reduces it back to the dust of the earth. I command every growth on your body to disappear. Amen. Anyone that walked in here with any growth, I rebuke every growth to melt. I command high blood pressure. I command it to evaporate. I Amen. command diabetes to disappear in this Amen. house. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Put your hands together one more time for the Lord. For example, last night somebody had a terrible migraine. You found it hard to sleep the night that came into this morning. But you managed to come to this service. The hand of the Lord is upon you right now. Amen. That migraine vanishes and it shall return no more. Amen. Oh, come on, church. Can I hear you say a better amen? Amen. Anybody is struggling to take your shop or your business office space, struggling to take your place of business, this week they will wake up and not remember that place again. Oh, Amen. who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? There will be all kinds of testimonies that will come out this week. Testimonies of financial abundance. Amen. Testimonies of restoration and marriages. Amen. You see, God is going to reconcile children back to their parents. Amen. Anyone that strayed away from your family, they have not heard from. I decree, before the end of the first week of March, that prodigal son, that prodigal daughter is returning back home. Amen. 
Can I hear a shout and believe in him? Amen. Amen. The God did it. Hormonal imbalance or whatever. How can a lady be lactating? You are not even pregnant and substance coming out of you. I command that thing that is appear. Those of you watching online, those of you that are here, the healing power of God is over this whole assembly. Can you lift your hand and say, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive of your grace. I receive of your mercy. You had an interview. It was postponed. Postponed. But now the Lord is saying, it was because of you I shifted it. So that the things that would have prevented you from being taken should be taken out of the way. He said, now they will call you. Then I will give you that position. Because that's Shana. Because somebody's position, you should have been promoted 2021. And your position, your promotion was denied you. 2021. Listen to me, your promotion has been given in this service. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. You're the name above. Who is that man that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not said it? Who is that strong man in your family? There is a name above every other name. My heart will see how great is that. Give him praise in the house. Give him praise. can even check yourself. Those of you online, you are here. The word of God came for you. You can check. God has done something in you. He has done something. I want to, I want to salute my covenant brother, my friend. Uh, you've come a long way. This is my home away from home. That's the truth. Born, bred in the Anglican Communion, Till God had another assignment for us on another platform, but the same family. Are you with me? Yeah, on another platform, but the same family. And uh, we've come a long way. I want us to celebrate our priests in this parish. My beloved friend and brother, Reverend Engineer Gigi Innocent, and his lovely wife, the barrister at the back. Mama, we celebrate you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for such a privilege. To stand here, um, you had many options. I'm not even qualified to be here. I'm an unprofitable servant. I don't have the best of what to deliver. It's not as if you can't do what I came here to do. But it's a privilege, and I consider it as one. Let's celebrate him one more time, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They say a good name is better than money. There's a man I've heard so much about him, but I'm yet to meet him in person. Is the venerable over this archdeaconry where this parish is under? I'm here to meet him, um, Dr. Festus. Am I correct? Let's celebrate our venerable everyone. You know, um, just in case this clip gets to him, I salute you, sir. I salute your wife. Thank you for the awesome privilege granted me to be here. Is that how you celebrate your man of God? <laughs> Thank you, sir, for giving us the thriving environment to serve God's people at this capacity. And I also want to honor and respect, and um, I need us to join me to do that, the supervising uh, bishop, um, right, Reverend, I hope I'm getting it, Dr. James, right? Please, let's honor our Father in the Lord over the city of Lagos. Let's honor him, Reverend Dr. James, the right reverend. Please, let's celebrate our father, the supervising bishop. Hallelujah. Amen. What we are doing is not tradition, it's not a cliche. No, 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 no. You give honor to whom honor is due. You attract what you honor. Are you with me? Please, just welcome someone beside you with a compliment. I love the way you are looking. I love your dress. Just with a compliment, welcome someone to church. From the rising of the sun 
to the setting of the same. Your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Your name is to be Jesus as you have your seat in there. Somebody open your mouth and say, Lord, show mercy over my family. Have mercy. Say, have mercy over my family. Have mercy. Mahakatiyaba. Can they project scriptures? If I call it, okay. Okay, I don't want Every garment of shame, every garment of dishonor, whatever mountain that anyone has fought all these years, whatever limiting power over families, Lord, I ask for your glory. Let the fear of God break through. Let the power of God, let the hand of God, that hand that will quicken the things that are dead. Lord, let it quicken everything dead. I speak to the spam cells. I speak to the ovaries. I speak to the fallopian tubes. I command the line and the wall linings of the womb. They say cannot hold babies. I command now, let there be healing. Let there be healing. Let there be healing. I speak life. I speak life to that watery spell. That spell they said is deformed. I speak life to it. That the cry of babies shall be heard. For that woman shall go to scan and they will say you have three seeds in you. For your waiting, the Lord is giving you three at once. I'm speaking to a family here, whether they are physically here or online. Nasananas, Nasanahega. Just in case you have been through things and even your faith in God has failed you, just in case your you your if you want to measure your faith, you know God. If He's to go by my faith. Lord, I can't even exercise faith anymore. I don't know the challenges. I don't know the things that has caused your faith to even question the God you once believed in. What are the things that have challenged your faith? There's a backup system. Let me even ask you, if God should do everything based on how powerful your faith is, what happens in situations when your faith has failed? Please, am I communicating? Can you pray this prayer with me in a few seconds? Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father open up my inward eyes. Open up my inward Say, Heavenly eyes. Father, grant me the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation. Say, Lord, open my ears, open my heart to hear what you are saying, to see what you'll be showing me in this service, in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I ask for the spirit of wisdom and revelation to rest upon everyone. Then the angel of might to back up the words that shall be spoken here. Amen. To bring it to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Reverend, what will happen? Yeah, people will not die. And you don't need. The prayer must come. You are in service. You are in service. You are not just a player. The hand of God is on you. The service anointing is on you. Kina Muskalaya Kadosh today. There are no stand, there are men and women here that have hungered to know God deeper than they have known Him. And God brought you to this service today to reveal His glory to you. I need you to open up your heart to receive what the Lord shall be bringing. Somebody said, I am fruitful. I, am fruitful. I can hear you say, I am, I am fruitful. Say, my family is fruitful. My earth is fruitful. My say with me, none shall be barren. In my family. In my family. Now, when we say parents, it doesn't mean those childbirth. No, 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 no. Financially, relationally, spiritually, no spiritual bankruptcy. Say with me, I shall not be barren. I shall not be barren. Say the covenant. the covenant. I can hear you. Come on now. You know you need to speak. <laughs> Creation was made possible by speaking. Say with me, the covenant, the covenant. I have with God I have with through God. Christ Jesus through Christ. forbids me from being barren. Say, I will not eat bread in scarcity. I will not eat bread so, maybe the earth, the earth, the earth. The earth. Say, my land, my land, the land of my family, the land of, the my, land family, of my marriage, the land of my, marriage, land of my business of my shall business, yield her increase. Yield her increase. My, bread my bread shall increase on the land. Speak to the earth of, say, Lagos. Lagos. Upon you, Upon I will harness the harvest. Will harness the the harvest of financial abundance. The harvest of, financial the harvest of peace. The harvest in the name of Jesus, name of declare with me, I shall not be stranded, I shall not be stranded because, the God, because the grace of God and the mercy of God is upon me. Can I ask you a question? What happens when your faith fails you? Does it mean that God will not perform again? Because God said he will act if you have faith. What happens in the days when your faith has failed? Somebody say backup system. There's a backup system called mercy. The mercy of God is what comes into play when you have reached your best and your best has not delivered. The first thing I have to give you today through the communication of God's word is called the mercy of God. I know you have done all there is to do. You check your output. It's not reflecting the amount of labor you have made. You check your results. It's not commensurate to your effort. There is something that will be injected into the equation of your life. Somebody say the mercy of God. Mercy of God. Okay, Jude. You know, it's only one chapter. Jude 1. Sometimes we don't say 1. We just say Jude verse 22. Put it up for the people. Jude verse 22. Mama, what happens when your faith fails? What happens? What happens when your faith fails you? When you've done everything? Yet, mysteries are around you. You can't solve. I know God said you should have faith. But look at that scripture. Do you have another translation, sir? Sorry. NLT or King James. Do you have NLT? Can we see NLT? Can we read one to go? And you must show, and you must show mercy to those whose faith is strong. To those whose faith is strong. No. What does the scripture say? He said you must. It's not conditional. He said God, whenever you see people whose faith is wavering, you must show mercy. What it means at that time, what is working is no more your faith. Because if God should go by the standard of faith to prove himself, what about those whose faith is wavering? What about when you obey God and you are walking on water? And all of a sudden, the tempest rises. All of a sudden, the storms of life comes. What happens when the storms and the flood of life hits that marriage, hits that business? And you are sinking now like Peter. You are now sinking like Peter. Will the master leave you to sink? Oh, you know, Peter said, if you are the Lord, bid me to come. Am I speaking to the right people here? Yes. And Jesus said to him, come. He acted on faith. Then for the first time, not only Jesus now walked on water, Peter now walked on water. But as Peter was walking on water, that's a miracle. That's a testimony. All of a sudden, he saw the water rising. It's a question, what kept him afloat on water? Somebody say faith. faith. He had faith in the word, come. 
when Jesus said come. He had faith. He acted on it and he broke the protocols and was suspended on water like Christ himself. That's faith. But in the journey of life, there will be times when faith will fail. Because even Peter, a man of faith, who obeyed Jesus, when he saw this flood, when he saw the water rising, his faith wavered. The question, what will happen at that point? Will God now say, because you have doubt, I will leave you to sink? Somebody say, God forbid. God forbid. At that point, Peter did something. He said, Lord, save me. Then, it was no longer his faith that came to walk. It was no longer his faith. It was the mercy of the master. Jesus stretched forth his hand and pulled him up. Do you think when he pulled him up, he carried him on his back? Do you think when he pulled him out of the water, the boat was still not near. They met somewhere in the middle of the sea. When Jesus pulled him out of the water, two of them started walking on water. Oh, can I have somebody come? Anybody? Hey, come, 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 come. Oh my God. Kalamu se kayama ya kero. Sekila. Everybody watch. At the middle of the sea, this guy was sinking. His faith has failed. But he cried for mercy. And Jesus pulled him out of the water. Do you think when he pulled him out of the water, they just entered the boat? The boat was still far away. Do you think when he pulled him out of the water, he carried him on his back? No. He held him. This time around, what kept Peter? Peter was not faith. It was not mercy. So two of them started walking towards the ship. When you look at Peter, you will say Peter was a strong man. No, he was not strong. Mercy has been activated. I want you to speak over your family. Whatever it is that is sinking your marriage, sinking your family, trying to sink your finances. You have applied all known business principles. You've called people you know that with one phone call, your family, your life is settled. And yet, people are disappointed. I want to speak over you this morning. The mercy of God shall speak for you. Amen. Oh, come on now. His grace, his grace. Anglican church, you can shout better. I said the mercy of God who shall speak for you. Amen. Say with me, I'm a child of mercy. Say with me, I'm a child of grace. I want to decree. Look, please don't be quiet. Eh? Don't be quiet. You remember blind Bartimaeus? They wanted to keep him, to shut up. A word comes for you, jump at it and take it. I want to pronounce the mercy of God. Your being fruitful shall not just be traceable to your hard work alone. Amen. Your being fruitful shall be traceable to the voice of mercy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go back to that Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. change about that family where you come from? What do you want God to change about that your life? What do you want God to change about your academics? You are waiting for sponsorship for your PhD. You want to go for your PhD but your sponsorship is a problem. The Lord is here to fix it. Jesus. Reverend, do you even know that God recommended? He said, come boldly to my throne. Whenever you stand to pray, every one of us, we arrive at the same destination. Whenever we stand to pray, no matter the location where you are, no matter your nationality, no matter the country, anybody that calls on the name of the Lord, we all arrive at one place. That place is called the throne of grace. He said, let's come boldly to the throne of grace. Do you know that when everybody comes there with their individual problems, unique, 
like my sister here, her prayer point might be different from the lady behind her. Your own prayer point might be different from this lady. Yours might be different from my guy on the white. But when all of us start praying, calling on the name of God, we all come to one place and live with the same thing. But that thing we live with will address your problem in its unique way. That thing is called mercy and grace. He said, let us come boldly to the throne of grace where we shall obtain. He didn't say healing. He didn't say prosperity. Even though you may need healing. He didn't say deliverance. Even though you may need deliverance. He didn't say promotion. Even though what you need is promotion. He said that when we come to that throne, everybody will live with mercy and grace. So when you see a sick person who gets healed, what caused that healing? Mercy and grace. When you see somebody struggling, now being blessed in the works of his hands, what caused it? It's not because he came and collected prosperity from the throne. It can be shown you to them is in Hebrews, I think, chapter 4, verse 16. Come and say mercy and grace. Mercy and grace. That is what I release over this service. Amen. Upon the works of your hands. Amen. Upon your marriage. Amen. Upon your family. Amen. Please say with me, I receive mercy. I receive mercy. I receive grace. I receive grace. Why do you need two of them? Can we finish it? To help. Look at the scripture. It's up. Can we start from the beginning? Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of God. To do what? That we may obtain mercy and find grace. Why? To help in time of need. So when a time of need arises in Lagos for you, what do you cry to? Mercy. mercy and grace. When times of ma- uh, need comes in marriage, what do you need? Mercy and grace. When times of need come in your finances, that your business or your career, politicking in the office. They want to tear you down. Somebody will tell you over my dead body, will you be promoted in this office? Like one of our, you know, top organizations in this Lagos is a financial institution. And they told this lady, you will never, never be promoted. They call for meetings, they don't involve her there. I said, yes, sir. I said, don't worry. Because they have not gathered in the name of the Lord, they will scatter in seven uncoordinated ways. Now, when they finish plotting, that thing they did in that meeting, you were not involved. All of them will become answerable to you in this office. And for about three years, our promotion was held. Last Monday, tomorrow will make it one week. She was in her office, opened her mail. The first maid that dropped that money, you be made a manager. All of them now are her subject. She said, Pastor, wait me from this dream. I said, No, you are not dreaming. You are awake. You are awake. Listen, I want to announce you whatever that has tormented, afflicted, made you to shed midnight cries, tears of sorrow in the night. Those tears that nobody sees shall become your public testimonies. Amen. Hey, some people are not saying amen. amen. I say your secret tears shall become your public testimonies. Amen. Your secret tears shall become your public testimonies. Amen. Before this end of February, somebody will receive a letter, will receive a message that will settle you for the rest of this year. This war shall not fall to the ground. Amen. I pastor a church in VGC. I have seen the rich and the mighty. They cry. You know, there's this pride that comes with wealth. There's this pride that comes with material things. People now put their trust in those things. They lay they had colon cancer. They millionaire in dollars, multi-millionaire in dollars, has flown everywhere. They sent her back to Nigeria to die. If it was money, I have seen the limitations of this thing called money. Come to the throne of grace not to take money, to take mercy and grace. 
she snapped pictures of how the thing has eaten up her internal organs. And I, I say, God, even this one, I don't have faith. <laughs> Man of God, I don't know if you have seen cases. Even to pray for the person, you don't even. I, I told God, you see this one, I don't get faith. But there's something I know about mercy, about grace. That the things you are not qualified for, God gives it to you on a platter. I say, woman, all I can tell you, by the mercies of God, you receive life. And that was it. The same UK hospital, she went back. They said, what did you do? Everything brand new. Organs brand new. Brand new. She's still alive today, doing her business. Whatever thing that is decaying in your destiny, I speak life into it. Amen. I join my faith with your pastor, your reverend. You know, the word pastor means shepherd. Though. They are the ones confusing that too. What reverend or pastor? The word pastor is a shepherd. I join my faith with your shepherd. I announce over you the forces of decay, the forces of delay in marriages. Anybody confined on a hospital bed, sentenced to die by doctors or hospitals. Lord, they have done their best. Anyone going through difficult times, Lord, in their family, I join my faith with your servant over this house. We command the forces of darkness to be bound. Amen. We command the prison gates to open in the name of Jesus. Amen. We command the destiny of families to break out. Amen. Open your mouth and shout, I break out. I break out. My family break out. I break out. My destiny break out. I break out. Say, I break out. I break out. I break out. On all sides, I break out. On all sides. My maternal family, paternal family. I break out in the name of Jesus. I break out in the name of no more limitations. No more limitations. No more limitations. Shalom Koyaba. Shalom Koyo. Shalom Koyaba. Kayele Boye. Shalom Koyaba. Lebo Sheleba. In Daye. In Bayashu Kayamonda Yakayaba. Shilabaya. Genesis chapter. Oh God. Sir. So much glory in this house. There's so much. You guys, I know how where you are. Then you are telling your son, the job I'm doing is so easy. The heavens here are open. The heavens here are open. You know, you can be like Jacob, who woke up and said, God is here, and I didn't know. The heavens here are open. I've gone to places you can struggle to even preach. But the heavens here are open. There's fire on this altar. There's fire on thing. I don't know job you are doing behind the scene, but there's fire. Maybe the intercessory thing, there's fire on this altar. There's fire on this altar. There's fire on this altar. Any crawling object in your body, that, that itching sensation, that skin infection, I rebuke it by the power on this altar. I command you to break in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is even more higher levels, even in education, academics, higher levels. There's a door, there's a door the Lord shall open. Whatever financial help or sponsorship needed, that's it, that's the power of God. Yes. Yes, yes. He said, he, for he knows even the cries of your heart. Yes. No more rotating around. It's time to move up, says the Spirit of the Lord. I shall send help financially. The sponsorship is sorted. Yes. Yes, the sponsorship is sorted. Then I will take you to higher realms of my glory. Touch! Please, is there an usher here, please? Yes. The feast. The feast of Nakonia. Nakonia Siliganama. Ekurus in a more. 
Now you will take one step and it will become tense. For the delay, I have cut it off. You have called people for help and they are shut the door. I am your Lord, says the Spirit of the Lord. For I will send help even from the list of places. Oh, Mahagada. Please, everybody, don't just look around. There's something that is falling in this service. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. It's by speaking. It's by faith. Make that journey, woman. Make that journey. Make that journey. Higher realms of glory. Higher realms of anointing. Higher realms of power. Make that journey. For the delays you saw yesterday, you shall see them no more. Amen. Genesis chapter 1. Are you still waiting for the message? We've gone more than half into the message. Don't we say I'm fruitful? Don't we say I'm fruitful? I'm fruitful. This church is going to build very fast. You didn't hear what I said. I said this house will build. And it will be very fast. Amen. Because the Spirit of God will brood over the people's businesses and the works of their hands. Amen. And people will crack certain levels of financial cadre. Amen. They shall not be flow even in the hundreds of millions. Amen. For the first time, people will step into the billion flow. Amen. Not because God is enriching people for their stomach, but for his kingdom purpose, for the sake Amen. of the kingdom. For the sake of the kingdom. You are doubting what I'm saying. For the Amen. sake of the kingdom. Amen. For the sake of the kingdom. Amen. It shall be a quick walk. It shall be a quick walk. For I have descended in this service to reward many, even for their faithfulness. For their years of service, I have come to reward. 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 An appointment is going to come. It's going to come from a government. The government will favor you. Ino machina makaya. Fretish to rakova. Woshila. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Those that mocked you shall sing the praises of your God. Amen. I'm sensing a strong healing anointing, but there's something I would, I would want to share from that Genesis. How many of you can tell there's a holy awe in this hall? There's a holy presence. There's a at this, that the atmosphere is not normal. Can I see you waiting? Ukabash. Ukabash. Every enlargement of the liver. Enlargement of the liver. That thing that makes you to see blood in your urine. That infection. I command it to disappear. Amen. You will not need to take anything to take care of pile again. Amen. For pile on its own in this service. Amen. Touch!
start breaking out. Marriages. Marriages. Enter your matrimonial destiny. Should be verse 28. Yes. Can we read one to go? Then God blessed, then God blessed, them, and blessed them and said, Be, be multiply. Be fruitful. Somebody say, Be fruitful. Be fruitful. I can't hear say, Be fruitful. Be fruitful. My brother, come. Let me. Please. You know, I love demonstrations. Come, sir. One drama. One example, one case study can preach a thousand sermons. One picture. Someone said, Be fruitful. Be fruitful. That's be fruitful. Number two, and multiply. Somebody shout, Multiply. Multiply. Oh, I can't shout it again. Multiply. Multiply. Come, sir. That's multiplying. Stand here. Can we come a little bit back? Okay. I need to know where the boundaries are. <laughs> Someone said, Multiply. Multiply. What's, oh, uh, sir, okay, leave, leave the, yes. What's the third instruction? Feel. The Somebody end. say feel. Feel the Come, end. come, because you are, God is filling your barn with, Amen. with gold. Amen. God is filling your barn with gold. Amen. Please, sir, just come like this so that she can see over there. Come, sir. Feel. Be fruitful. Multiply. Feel, feel, feel heaven. No, the earth. Because this is where you live. Then finally, someone say, govern it. Govern it. Say, subdue it. Subdue it. Say, govern it. Govern it. Okay. There's someone God is going to give a political appointment in this house. Yes. A political appointment. Take note of that. Thank you, Jesus. The person will be so favored by the government. Eh? God says, be fruitful. Multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. If you read it, you will run to these four things. Oh God, I want to be fruitful. I want to multiply. I want to feel the edge. I want to subdue. But these are not the foundation. This is like the building. This is like the building. In the next 20 minutes, because I asked Reverend, so my time limit, I don't want to exceed it. So that if I'm privileged, I can come again. <laughs> Amen. Please give your neighbor a high five. Don't be too serious in the presence of God. smile eh? <laughs> so that you have enough strength to go into the week, do business and come back again. That's why why you come here, we come here to refuel. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I don't care what is happening. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. He said, for the joy of the Lord. So if the enemy wants to attack your strength, what does he touch? The joy of the Lord. In simple English, if the joy of the Lord is your strength, if the enemy wants to make you weak, what does he go for? Joy. Your joy. Don't allow anything to tamper with your joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. But before God said, be fruitful. Before God said, multiply. Before God said, fill the earth. Before God said, govern the earth. There are three things that are the foundation for being fruitful. You cannot multiply what you have not produced. I will just mention those three things. Then pick the last one. We pray with it and close. For those of you that like writing topic for a message, you can 
right the topic of what I'm discussing. The three foundations for fruitfulness. The three foundations. You know, I've already preached two sermons before this one now. So give Jesus, you're my own. My heart, my heart was peace, my sleep and fuel. In you I live and have my being. Jesus, my all The angel of the Lord on this altar announced again, this house shall build fast. Amen. We are doing three story up. If you're on the ground floor, four stories. This is VGC now, where we are using for a place of worship. So when I say God said he will build fast here, I have seen God's faithfulness that a church of an average of 480 people. You walk in, you want to look out for that big man there. You won't find one big billionaire. You won't find young career professionals, business professionals. But when God announced it, something broke out in the church. That even an Akarasela, something comes upon it and it begins to magnet kings. That is what I'm talking about. When that thing rests on you, it's called mercy and grace. It will take the same thing. It's not as if you will change what you are doing, no. It's the same thing you've been doing. But this time around, the result will be mysterious. This time around, people cannot explain it. That is the last thing I want to deal on and we pray. There is one word for it. It is called the blessing. Before God said, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. The Bible said, then God blessed. But even before the blessing, there were two things he said before that. Go to verse 26. So we need three more people to come. Just come. They will stand in front of this one. So that even if you forget most of it, you know, you won't forget the, the picture. You stand here. One person. My dear. Okay, mama, yeah. So the three people are in front of the four. Hmm? 
Hmm? What you see is somebody. The actual thing is that three of you should go to the back. You don't see foundation. Or you four of you to the front, three to the back. Can you show me the foundation of this house? Can you see it? No. But you are seeing every other thing. What you see in somebody's life is that somebody is fruitful. What you see is that somebody is multiplying. Business is multiplying. Things are happening. What you see is that, ah, uh -uh, this person is feeling everywhere. What you see is that somebody is having dominion, governance, and authority, but you are not seeing what is powering it. So when you read Genesis 1 verse 28, and you just claim, uh, be fruitful, multiply, no, there are, three, there are three foundations that powers these things. The first, God said, let us make man in our image. The first foundation for fruitfulness is image. Just to tie it up, round it up, what is image? The character of God, the DNA of God. What makes God, God? And God is love. Discussion for another day. We might have a return leg on this. I want to stay on the last one. Look at, look at, number two. Let's make my business an image. To be like us. King James says, after our likeness. So, mama, can you wave your hand? This is the image of God. Let's make man in our image. After our likeness. Image. DNA of God. God is love. Likeness. The functionality. How God functions. Image is who God is. Likeness is what God can do. If I have opportunity again, I will discuss on these two. But the last foundation. So before God said be fruitful and these four things, he first of all made that man in his image after his likeness. Then he came to the last. Verse 28. Most I God of heavens Most I Ruler of the earth, <laughs> Reverend G, I don't know you. I don't know what you are cooking in this place. King of nations, Hallelujah. And God blessed. So I want to focus on this thing called the blessing. <laughs> Image you can go, likeness you can go. So this is what I will do in the next 10 minutes. Someone said the blessing. the blessing. You cannot see it, but you see the manifestation of it in the life of a man. The blessing is empowerment to succeed irrespective of what is going on. The blessing is an empowerment to thrive against all tides. The blessing is an empowerment. God gives a man. The Bible said, I am the Lord your God that given the power to create, to make wealth. Wealth is not imparted. It is created. You don't say, I, they imparted wealth on me. I receive wealth. No, 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 no. You receive the blessing that makes you to go out and now what you do we start creating the wealth. The Bible said in Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and adds no sorrow. Someone shout the blessing. The blessing. I can't shout the blessing. the blessing. Because that is what I'm going to partner with Reverend and we unlock it over your life. <laughs> we unlock it over your family. Amen. When, when the blessing comes, where there is no fruitfulness, there will be fruitfulness. And God blessed. God blessed. Who can cause that man that God has blessed? No one. Who can cause that family that God has blessed? No one. Mama, do you know it was so serious? Everybody pay attention. Do you know it was so serious that God came to the land, this land you are walking upon, and said, the Lord blessed the earth. I say, and produce after full bearing seed. Till tomorrow, you cut down a tree, it will grow again. You weed your compound. You weed your compound. Interlocking stone. You see all those grasses that come up. If you like, put sand, put nylon, put interlocking. It will find a way. The grass will come out. You pour chemical, highest, two months. 
it will, do you know why? The earth was blessed that no matter what you do on it, it must produce grasses. Okay, you can clap if you want to clap. That is what the blessing does. I, if you go to my compound, the, which one have I not done? You call a book, oh yeah, we, we finish with it, one week. I said, okay, which other way? They said, there's this chemical, if you now pour. Chemical they poured in December. Yesterday I came out from the house. We are going to vote. Only to discover one portion of the compound. Where did this glass come out from? They are commanded to produce. They carry the blessing. No matter what man does, they must produce. Do you know they have been hunting animals before your forefathers were born? Animals have not finished in the bush. Do you know they've been shooting down birds? Birds have not finished. Do you know why? God blessed them and said be fruitful. And when you read their blessing, there is no multiply. Rather, there is, you say, let them be fruitful and multiply. That's the only thing you can see. You don't see every other one. He came to man. He said, let man be fruitful. If a goat can get pregnant because of the blessing to be fruitful, is he a human being? He said, God, have you forgotten me? My marriage. No childbirth. No fruit of the womb. I want to tell you, you are blessed. Amen. Your womb is blessed. Amen. Those palm cells are blessed. Amen. Those ovaries are blessed. Amen. Your business is blessed. Amen. Someone say, I carry the blessing. I carry the blessing. I can't say, I carry the blessing. I carry the blessing. On account of the blessing, God now said, be fruitful. Anything that wants to attack your fruitfulness has the blessing to contend with. Oh, hallelujah. Anything that wants to stop you from multiplying, that um, this thing will remain one. It should be, no, whatever he does, no business more than one million. Let every opportunity that will come be 500,000. No, that seed will be broken. I said it will be broken. Amen. Because the blessing, that is what it is. He said, let them fill the earth. Who told you your business will die in Aja? That your business is just meant for your estate uh, neighbors. The blessing will command the works of your hand to command global attention. Amen. Then he said, let them govern. Let them govern. Authority. Authority over powers. If you carry the blessing, you will subdue darkness. If you know you will carry the blessing, Whatever that threatens your family, threatens your, you have the authority to deal with it. The blessing when given cannot be reversed. Oh. You can see now. Have you understood that? Because we want to pray now. Reverend. Rebecca took Jacob. The power of God is on someone as I'm talking. Allow that thing to flow through your body. As I'm talking, you, you, you have been holding that fire burning on you. Allow it to surge through your system. That is it. Allow it to surge through your system. Mantles are falling in this service. The mantle of speed. The mantle of marital settlement. That's it. Breaking the siege of marine covenants. Attachment with causes from foundation. Rebecca, we close now. Collected Jacob, made him look like Esau. And he went to his father Isaac. If you go to Genesis 27, you can be showing the scripture. I think from verse 19. Genesis 27 from verse 19 or so. Or 29. You take it to the... You can see it's 19, I'm correct. Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. Bless me. Look at the question Jacob asked. Are you truly my son? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you the guy? So, sir, he said he was Esau. And do you know what happened? The Bible said, 
Isaac blessed him. The wrong guy. But how we are going to close now? The blessing Isaac released on him, we are going to release it on you. But there's something I want to point out. Everybody here is intelligent. You have at least some level of sense. If the blessing is just what you say only, do you know that when Esau finally returned, then Jacob had gone. Esau now brought the same venison and said, you can show it. Verse, go down to verse 35, 36. The blessing is in 34. This is very shocking because I'm closing on that note. Do you know that when Esau finally came and told his dad, Isaac, I am Esau. Do you know what the Bible said? Isaac trembled greatly. Verse 33. Want to go, everybody? Please, everybody read. Want to go? And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, the blessing. He trembled. An old man shook. He was vibrating. Like somebody under high fever. Do you know why he would tremble? He just gave out something that cannot be retrieved. If it was just talking, why not repeat the same thing he said on Jacob? You are not getting what I'm saying. Because this blessing that will be activated here Nobody can reverse it. Amen. Daddy, daddy, daddy. If the blessing was just talking, Jacob, who behaved like Esau, had gone. The real Esau now came. Why was Isaac trembling? Why was he vibrating? The Bible says he trembled exceedingly. He started shaking. He became sick. Because those things he pronounced on Jacob are things money cannot buy. So he feared and asked, who was that that took the blessing? Mama, is it not just talking? Why not just, okay, are you the real Esau? Yeah, come. Repeat those same things now. Why are you shaking? Something left his mouth that cannot return back void. Let me see that person that will wake up and make you to cry again in sorrow. If I be a man of God, if your priest be a man of God, the son will fight them till they will not be able to stand on their feet. Amen. Unless she, like Jehovah said in the book, in the, in, in the scriptures, I think it's somewhere in Jeremiah, there about, he said, I have a covenant with the moon and the sun. He said, Israel, if anybody can stop the sun from rising, he said, then they will stop Jacob from not sitting on the throne. He said, but if the sun will ever rise and the moon go down, he said, I have put my seed on the throne. I want to speak over somebody in this service. Whatever cannot stop the sun from rising will not stop you from manifesting. Amen. Any power that cannot stop the sun from rising, touch, yes, help her, help her. Any power, don't look around. The power of God is moving. You are here to take something. Abila, say, Kaila. Whatever cannot stop, just don't hold her. Let the power flow. Just guide her. Don't hold her. Just guide her. Don't restrict her. The power of God is on her. Leave her hands alone. Leave her hands. Ruse, 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 Barai. Any power, any power, any power contending with the destiny of families here, contending with your home. Every lady, any lady here that the marine power, spirit husband, spirit wives. Any marriage under contention, any business under contention, the fire of God, the fire of God comes and it begins to burn it right now. Whatever that will not stop the sun from rising, will not stop that your promotion. Whatever that will not stop the sun from rising, will not stop you from carrying your set of twins, your set of triplets. Daniela is dedicated. Daniela is dedicated. Joshua is dedicated. Amen. 
Hoya, 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 hoya. Hoya, bo, hoya, ba, shila, ba, kie, le, mo, ke, ya, ba. That promotion letter is released. That court case, ayaba. That visa is released. Amen. Wole, ba, siyala. Mo, wembu, ezi, jiova. He, bo, bo, la, to, la, ni. Aga, imi, go, so, we, me, luwa. Aga, bo, ma, kune, re, re. The power of God is moving. The power of your man, the God, the Z, Rousse, 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 Rousse. There are angels. There are angels. There are angels here. Rousse, Rousse. Deliverance is taking place. Deliverance is taking place. Thou power of the Mosa. Then Kayasu. Yen Daliva. Jambara. Jembere. Paide. Soga. Naida. Fiela. I see arrows of fire. I see arrows of fire. High blood pressure. That heartache goes. Nesh. That back. That pain that travels from your spine to your chest. Kaiga. Sule. Muruka. Alice. Davia. Blood infection. Go. Every covenant with marine powers break, 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 break. In different ways, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are to reign. You are a great God. Hold on, child, I'm seeing the visions of the Lord in my spirit. This child wakes up at a particular moment in the night and just starts crying. Like it's an attack. I don't know if the parents are here. Your child sometimes wakes up in the night like there's an attack and starts crying. I don't know if that family is here. But I just, or if the child is there, or the children in the children's department. Is there any child that has some form of an attack that you are not able to explain what it is? family, you are there watching online, or if your own is here, I would like to pray for that child. You know as if there's some form of attack that happens to your baby or your child. You can lay hands on the child, or if you are watching online, you know, I, I believe there are online orders as well. Please touch that child. Yeah, I can see the man. Okay. Please, if you are beside your child, lay hands on that child. Now, yes, touch, touch them, yes. I rebuke, if you decide your child on, I rebuke the hand of the enemy. I command mysterious things that affect children shall not come near your dwelling. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Oh, I give you praise. Oh, I give you praise, Jesus. Cynthia shall be settled matrimonially. Thank you, Jesus. Cynthia's home is blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Cynthia. Eh? Do you know who I'm talking about? Eh? Your younger sister. Your younger sister. Eh? She just what? She just married. Uh -huh. I don't know the person. Now. The Lord said her, the home is blessed. Yes. The first marriage here. Yeah. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> I just said, is she here? He said, pray for Cynthia. Her home is blessed. Her home is blessed. Nothing will make her miscarry at the third month. Amen. Nothing will make her miscarry at the third month. There's a covenant of wealth with the husband. God is going to set up that couple as a channel for kingdom advancement. Amen. The IT world will open up for them. Are you hearing what I'm saying, sir? The IT world, technology, the IT world. Eh? The husband is what? The husband is into IT. <laughs> Is the husband here? Oh, tell them that the word of the Lord came for them. They thought I had a discussion with them. They are joking. There's an angel talking to me. So, it's a Cynthia. The home is blessed. Then the husband, the IT world will open up. Technology. Now, Unenas Agaro Shinigaga. He will be doing multiple jobs at the same time. Then there's Gono Zinga Dashila. A German company will come for him. Please, they can send a message to him. He will earn thousands in dollars. The angel is still talking to me. He will then he will get jobs, but because they are many, he can't do it alone. He will outsource it. If he has not registered his company, let him go and do it fast. Are they members of this church? Oh, man of God, that's one of the channels God is going to open up for you guys. Am I wasting your time? Should I stop, sir? So, um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes? Okay. Uh, but they are part of this house. Please, you say it's your sister, sir. Send the message across. So, there's going to be channel that will open up, massive channels. I see a German company. I see that there will be jobs that will come in thousands of dollars for them. The angel that brought the name, every detail to precision will cause it to happen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 That left breast, healing has come upon it. Even that right one that drops those liquids, dries up. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody that finds here to urinate, I declare you are healed. Amen. I declare you are healed. Amen. While I'm talking, the power of God is on you. You are healed. Man of God, we have to close it. Oh, but the angel of God is still talking to my ear. The prophetic goes with the ministry. Is a ministry. Elijah said, Bring me the ministry. They started playing. The hand of God came upon them. Any house. Now, oh, cry, bye, 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 geese. Bye, bye, geese, salama, bye, geese, salama. There's a lady having accommodation issue. The Lord, the angel said, I should tell you. That money you gather to sort your accommodation, use it for something else. You will live in the houses you will not pay for. Amen. How, how will this one happen? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Thank you, Jesus. 
a mighty oak tree is going out of your home, woman, the one on black. An oak tree, Joshua, is going to is going to be a mighty man of war. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody that lost a couple of millions. You lost millions. And you have not been able to recover. Hear you the word of the Lord. Mercy is bringing you out of that pit where there's no water. Amen. Say it after me by the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. I shall not sink. I shall not sink. And I shall not be stranded. And I shall not be stranded. A mighty oak tree. Is your family here? I'm talking to you, man. You are black. Is your family around? Can I pray for that boy? Which of them you know is going the way of prophetic and priesthood? There's, you, you are the mother of these children, right? So you know your children very well. There's one that has the hand of God on him. Pick the one and bring to me. Let me know if you know the one I'm talking about. That's him. Yes, that's him. That's a Joshua. What's his name? Come, sir. Mm. Man of God, we have entered another cloud where time does not exist. But I must stop. I must stop. The tap has opened. There's a realm where time does not have authority. It's the glory zone. I'm going to give you a private message for this boy. Come. I won't say it in the mic. I will just tell you, then I will pray for him openly. Father, do I have permission to lay hands on you? Father, I lay, please, man of God, come. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. This one is preserved. Amen. Babylon will not have him. Amen. He is a weapon in Zion. Amen. Like you shouted in my ears, an oak tree. An oak tree shall he be. Amen. Let the prophetic man rest on him. And let the oil of righteousness. He will grow in the knowledge of the Lord like Samuel. Amen. And serve the Lord all the days of his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Reverend just telling me that um, God said. Just like we said that God told us last Sunday. As okay. we announced that we should pray for all the children. And right? I'm just hearing that. Are you are seeing how God is speaking children. No, <laughs> At this hour, I wouldn't know. All the children, come all out. the children, please come out. This program, this program is loaded. God this is your service. You know, I finished. I did first service for my people who came here, and there's a second service. I, I won't go to that one again. I will stay with you people. You are not clapping, eh? I will. Be. <laughs> all the children, they come can, out. they can be having their second service. I'm already falling in love with. Behold, don't kneel, don't worry. The beauty of love. People have a baba. Ebe usi rike. No chase again. Aya. Kamburu ite me. Obi na tiwa. Anya miri. 
children face the altar. You are my hiding place, my rock of refuge. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody, stretch out your hand. In one minute, of course, if your child is here, you know what to say. Then any family in expectation, let today be that day where there shall be a reference. That it was on this day, as we prayed for children, that the Lord visited you. Everybody pray, one minute. Pronounce the blessing upon these children. Oh, five broad contending for the space of your baby. I curse it. I lay a curse on that five broad. Amen. Aye. Thirty more seconds. Kabila vasano. Rilu shigida. Naigani vama prana. Esta freno. Vangida si dova. Holy Spirit. is your health. Second is your home. Third is your finances. But as a fault, you have been crying to know God more. There's a deeper hunger. You know what I'm saying. You know there is more to you. There is more to you. You have the strength of a thousand men. You do the work of a man. Many look up to you for provision. And sometimes you don't meet up. Hey! But Yahweh has visited you today. 
the Lord shall multiply your five loaves. Then you'll be able to feed even beyond 1,000. You will feed a 5,000. Carry grace and mercy. Let your story change. Cry no more, woman. Cry no more. Touch! Hey! Hey! The fire is flowing. Those of you online, can you stretch your hand towards the device? Hey! touches you, you can go back. Children, if daddy touches you, you can go. To receive the blessing in Genesis 27, verse 34. Oh, digi!
your family. Sleep no slumbers. Genesis, Genesis. We want to pronounce the blessing. I'm done. Do you know the question I have? Just what was that thing that Isaac eh, released that made him to tremble when he discovered he gave it the wrong person? What is that thing that a businessman can lose now? What is it that somebody can lose and you tremble? Not just tremble, exceedingly. Let's look at those things he said. That is what we want to release. How many of you are ready to carry it? Are you ready to receive it? It takes a humble heart to receive grace. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Please, I put up the scripture. Genesis 27, verse 34. Is there another mic for Reverend? Oh, sorry, you have it. Is it 34? Let me see 24. Where the blessing was pronounced. Where the blessing was pronounced. 28. 28. Good. Please, this is what you are taking home with. Somebody said the blessing. The blessing. Whatever posture, kneeling down, stretching your hand, raising it up, whatever posture. So I will declare one. Reverend will declare the other. Like that till we get to. It's just in two verses. Are you ready? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I partner with your son whom you have set as a steward over this house. I join my faith with him I join my faith with our venerable Dr. Festus. I join my faith with the Father, the spiritual Father, the supervising bishop over the diocese to decree over God's children. God, the God of Isaac shall give you the dew of heaven. Amen. That amen should be a believing amen. I decree and I declare, receive the dew of heaven. Amen. The dew of heaven is grace. The dew of heaven is that thing that man cannot do. Carry it as you go into the week. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I release the dew of heaven upon your marriage. Amen. I release the dew of heaven over your business. Amen. I release the dew of heaven over your career. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The second one, sir. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release upon you, upon your family, the fatness of the earth. In the name of Jesus, in every area of your life, in the works of your hand, receive the fatness of the earth. In the name of Jesus. How did Isaac release it on Jacob? Was it not by talking? Is it not what we are doing? Could he reverse it? Whatever we are decreeing upon you cannot be reversed. Amen. Say with me, I receive the dew of heaven. Say with me, I receive the fatness of Lagos. The fatness of Nigeria. The fatness of the earth. Now I decree, receive plenty corn and wine. Amen. Let your barn, let your barn be filled with corn. Amen. Let your family, let your family, let your marriage receive new wine. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, you know, 
Wine is a symbol of joy. Where there is sorrow, I replace with joy. Amen. Say, I receive the dew of heaven. I receive the, I receive the fatness of the earth. I receive, the I receive the plenty earth. coin and wine. I receive plenty corn and wine. Go ahead. Sir. In the name of Jesus, as I join my faith with my brother, we declare into your life and into your family, let people serve you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. people you do not know, people that may have victimized you, people that may have rendered you useless, people that may have underrated you, people that may have dishonored you, they will serve you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. That blessing is called the blessing of promotion. As Reverend has declared it, so shall it be. Amen. I decree that the, the Lord shall cause even the grace that will distinguish you from your contemporaries. That distinguishing grace. He said, let thy mother's son bow down to you. That was the blessing Joseph carried. He was not the first, but everybody bowed down to him. Let that favor rest upon you. Amen. Upon your business. Amen. I join my faith with Pastor Reverend to declare, anyone that curses you shall be cursed. Amen. Anyone that blesses you shall be blessed. Amen. Say after me, I'm the carrier of the blessing. I'm a carrier of the blessing. Say everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I manifest the blessing. I manifest the blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is there anyone in verse 30? And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end to the blessing. Jacob was gone out from the presence and by then Esau now came. These words we have put upon you, nothing shall wipe it away. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you are done. Please take your glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Go ahead and thank him. Bless him. Thank you for what he has done. Thank you for what he has done. Thank you. You know, this is a revival service. It's a revival service. I want you to stretch forth your hands. Upon the man of God that God has used, Reverend Oyedikachi Ojako, stretch forth your hands and pray for him. Pray that strength has gone out of him. Pray that the Lord will refuel him. Pray that the power of God upon his life will not diminish. Pray that it will continue to soar from glory to glory in the name of Jesus and that which he has released upon this congregation, upon this church, through the power of the Holy Spirit, he shall be a partaker of that blessing in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let us pray, let us pray, let us put our hands together for God, put our hands together for Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. You know, last Sunday when the Holy Spirit was saying that today's service is going to be, please be seated. It's going to be an extraordinary service. I myself didn't even understand what the Holy Spirit was saying. Did anybody hear it last Sunday? So, you can understand even the pre-service um, prayers to the service. So, it's a revival service. It's, it's like, you know, we don't have time, um, you know, opportunity to have programs within the week physically. So these programs would have come within the week. But because of the peculiarity of our church, as a growing church, we only worship only here on Sundays. So that's why we bring out the revival services inside a service. Uh, please, when you are saying, just understand that the Holy Spirit is here and God is here. I'm so excited that you are blessed. Because it is my joy to see the people that God has placed under my care being blessed of him in reality, in tangibility form. Pray that that blessing which you have received today 
no man will take away from you. In the name of Jesus. I can hear you. I want you to shout three believing hallelujah. No, 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 no. You cannot be shouting to my own God that I know and you are seated. No, no. I, if you know within your heart that the Lord has answered our prayers, he says, I has received your praise and blessing. Shout three believing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let us celebrate you. Celebrate you. Celebrate you. So, as the grace voices give us a prayer with a song, we shall dance out for our family Sunday Thanksgiving. And for those who would like to transfer the account details of the church, is at the back of the bulletin. And for those online, you can also transfer, sow a seed in any form, in any way.